guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm located between Liverpool and Blackpool in a seaside town called Southport. Loads of you have probably heard of it and loads of you have probably in it. been here before so if you have, drop them in the comments below. So I was on booking.com the other night and I was looking around where to stay and this hotel pops up here. It's called the Yaneli Hotel and the Amici Bar. So, any, however, I've arrived here at um, about 12 o'clock today and there's two parking bays outside here. So, but the hotel doesn't open till two o'clock in the afternoon. So if you arrive early and there's a space, grab it here, although there is parking on the road. There's also disabled access for people coming to the hotel as well. So, right, okay, let's, um, so reception's just located here. The bar's located here, which you have a continental breakfast in as well. And the front door's there. So let's go and take a look at the room. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the room. So I only bought this room the other day. Uh, it was there was nothing available. This was the last room available, room five. It's um I think it's quite a bit well I'm not sure if it's a big room or not. So here we and I've got they've got this card as well now in um, the UK. They used to just have room keys, but what you can do, because it if you put this card next to your phone, it's a bit of a pain. Because it's sometimes it stops working. If you're on the fifth, sixth, or seventh floor, even more, and then you've got to run down to reception, you've got to sort your card out. But it's something you can buy called a blocking card. You can get them on Amazon for about three or four pound, and they work really well. And it always works then when you get back to your room. So let's go and take a look. Let's take a look at the first room here. And uh, we've got two beds in here really bright room actually there's a television in the corner and it's also got netflix on it it's a smart tv as well two pillows on every bed i also see here the sockets next to both two sockets next to both beds and cables to plug in for your phone as well and also why do they do this towels on beds all the time i think towels belong in the bathroom because that's where you have your shower and your bath and things like that. Shall, shall we take a look at the uh, next room along? Which is going to be the bathroom. And it's spacious. There's plenty of toilet roll there for everybody. So it's absolutely spotless as well. Nice walk-in shower. So then you've got a protection protector here for when you come out of your shower or if it splashes or anything like that. You've got, so you can take that off as well, or wash yourself. You've got a nice big head on the shower. So you've also got two in one shampoo and things like that there, which I think is key nowadays because it really, it stops you bringing everything away, like your shower gels and things like that, which just take up room in your case and stuff. So here's the main bedroom as well. So this looks really, this is a really big comfy bed as well. Yet again, you've got, so you've got your two lamps on each side of the bed. You've also got two sockets on each side of the bed. But I did notice um, in the other room there as well, you've got the sockets for um, your uh, iPhones and um, Samsungs and things like that. But not in this room. You've just got your normal plug sockets in this room. However, that, I don't think that's a major problem. Uh, you've got a safe just in here there. Um, you've also got your iron, your ironing board, and I see here, you've got your, your Nescafe, your coffee, and you've also got Galaxy Hot Chocolate. Woohoo! So maybe that's something before you go to bed. But looking at the bed, it doesn't look like you need anything to make you sleep, because that looks comfy. But yeah, again, towels on the beds. But I think they need to be in the bathroom. I don't think towels on the bed works. So you've got your kettle, you've got selection of milks, you've got your brown sugar, you've got your white sugar. You've also got nice couple of bottles of water and some lovely, lovely Biscoff. So I wonder if well they'll be going at the end of my stay if I uh, don't eat them. You've also got a nice touch there, uh, the Wi-Fi code when you get into your bedroom. So um, I think you know, it's clean, it's tidy. There's not the best view in the world. 
four hangers, which maybe is sufficient. A couple more plugs just down here and down there. Um, so, okay, let's, oh, what's this? That's a hairdryer. So I don't think there's any need for me to be using that. Well, that was a comfy sleep I had last night. Probably the most comfy sleep I've ever had. So anyway, I've just had my continental breakfast, which came, there was teas, your coffees, your orange juices, your normal things you have on a continental breakfast, to be honest, it comes in a little basket, which is really nice. The service was really good. In fact, the service in this hotel has been absolutely second to none. The, on, on top of everything all the time. So that's the Inelli Hotel and the Amici Bar in Southport. So just a little bit about Southport. I've not been here for a long, long time. So if you take, if you come out of this hotel, don't forget, there's just your two bays of parking in this hotel, but there is street parking as well. I looked online and they also said there's some free street parking in a few streets away from the hotel but to be honest the car parks are so cheap there's a car park just around the hotel from here and that's something like two pound or three pound all day which is an absolute bargain at a seaside resort however if you come out the hotel and you walk to the end of the road along here so if you turn left at the end of the road you'll come to the victorian shopping center where there's shops there's bars and a lot of eateries and things like that. Um, if you turn right at the end of this road of the hotel, that takes you to the front where there's a pier. It's actually, that pier is the second biggest pier in, in, in the UK, where I think the biggest is in Brighton. If I'm wrong, drop them in the comments. Uh, I think the Brighton one's about a mile long. However, the one in Southport at the moment is currently short because it's having a 13 million pound revamp on it and also there's the pleasure land in southport as well that's that's changed that used to be a you used to be able to walk um just walk into the uh pleasure land and just go on any rides and pay per ride or get your tokens but now that's i went online had a look you can book your tickets online so that's you book your tickets online it shuts at five o'clock i'm not sure of the opening time that's 24.99 per person on, online and if you just go straight to Pleasureland itself that's 29 99 so if you book online you're saving five pound per person but that's that's changed a lot and it seems last time I came to Southport it was that Pleasureland was quite busy it doesn't look as busy now and I think that could be the reason behind that uh, however I think that sums up the video so it's a thumbs up this hotel is uh, I think it's cost me about a hundred pound for the night. To be honest, that sleep I had last night it was worth every penny. So um, let's that sums up the video. So I'll see you guys in the next one.